not have sin in your grave. Lord, I pray for those persons who have not responded, that you will make them sure of what they're doing. That you help them, O oh God, to make their calling and election sure, so that when you return, Father, they will not hear from your lips, depart from me, but they will hear, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter thou in the joy of the Lord. I pray for the one individual that raise their hand. Oh God, you know her heart, you know her mind. I pray that you will continue to strengthen her, that you will never leave her, oh God, that you will always be her comfort, her present help in trouble, that she can run to you as a refuge and as a strength whenever things get rough and whenever things get tough. Help her to hold on to the hope that you will return. And I pray, oh God, that you know the decision that she has to make, to serve you for the rest of her life. Because ultimately, if we don't choose you, then we choose death. Eternal death. And you know, God, that you love us so much that you do not want any to perish, but that all will come to repent. So I pray that you'll be ready and give her the boldness to go all the way with you. That no friend, no family, no foe can stop her. Strengthen her, encourage her, and I pray, oh God, for the members of that Lord. And you continue to strengthen them in their faith. So God knows that sometimes we feel like giving up. Sometimes we feel like throwing in the towel. But it is the hope that Jesus is coming back to save us that keeps us going. Ah, uh, sometimes even me, God, I don't feel like preaching. And I don't feel like witnessing. But when I remember how good you are, and we remember, when I remember God that this morning I didn't have to wait, but you still kept me alive. God, Thank you, God, for your faithfulness. Thank you for your long suffering. We don't know what 2021 holds, but we know who holds 2021 in their hands. And we can be confident, Jesus, that whatever you do and whatever you allow, it is with salvation in mind. And so let your will be done, God. I'm not going to ask you to remove the storms of everybody's life. What I'm going to ask is that you build their faith in the storm. That you build their trust in the storm. That you reach a point, that they will reach a point like Job, that even when they have nothing, they can shout, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I shall return. But he says that he will never forsake you. He was that hope. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for what you're doing now, we pray. In Jesus' name, God be praised. Amen. Amen.